before. You know, you need to pull a Vincent and and Vince. Well, now Vincent actually he complained a little bit, but he complained much less. Said, "I've never been on a horse before. I'm very nervous." And he and he looked like he was nervous. Don't be like, "Oh yeah, I've done horses all my life." Da, 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 da. And then you get on there and you don't know what to do. That literally was a guided horse through the water in a circle. It was not that bad, but you just um, you gave her the impression that you've done this, that, and the other, and you haven't. Don't do that because that because you that's going to smack you in the face later. Um, but I do still think that she's young acting. I think that this was a little bit of a maturity that we saw in her um, about the complaining thing. Don't don't complain at me and you know make me look like I'm forcing you to do something. Um, but yeah, I'd like for you to just get out of your box, get out of your shell, but don't put it, at, not at my expense. So I didn't like that. Um, that was funny because um, him saying, oh yeah, she's the baddie. Your, your wife is gorgeous. I don't think he meant it. I think he was just trying to say, this is what you tell your wife. Tell her she's gorgeous. Tell her she's beautiful. But it came off like, oh no. Your wife is amazing. She's. I don't think that he could get anybody better than her. I was like, uh, okay, Mac. What, what what's going on here? I, I <laughs> um, Mac was actually coming out of his shell, so that was super funny. Um, yeah. Other than that, um, something's about to happen. They really, the producers have been messing with us. We all thought that this kiss between the ginger and the young acting girl was going to come this this episode that didn't so um but i guess it is going to show or did they just put this in the previews just to entice us i don't know so i thought that was interesting too um that's it for now yeah and, and in my opinion i think he was caping big time for gina but i think you know clearly based on if we look at how max mama treats him you know offering him the fifty thousand dollars to not do the maths process He's used to being taking care of women. So he probably, you know, Gina and all her salon talk and her commercial mortgages and everything she got going on sounds appealing because it looks like in the next episodes coming down the pike, his living situation, you know, he's a little, you know, embarrassed by what it it it's it looks like. So, yeah, I think Mac has a lot to be desired. And I think this whole kiss that they've been teasing out with Gina and Clint they're going to wait. They're going to make us wait a little bit for that before we really see the true context of whatever transpired there. Great point. Great. All right. Who's next on Dom and Mac? JR. Trey. Um, yeah, I'll just say, like, I, I definitely think he tried to lead with jokes. He may not be comfortable, um, fully comfortable with the process and you know, it's still early, like, but um, I think a touching moment for me personally was when they went for that little, little stroll, they went for the little walk and carved the, carved the name in the, in the plant or whatever that was. And then he apologized for the jokes and things like that. And, you know, didn't mean to, um, you know, come across as just a jokester or whatever. And, you know, he uh, it, that was a good way to kind of um, solidify or show his interest in wanting to make uh, the situation work with her, the relationship work with her. And she was receptive to it. So that's a good sign. Um, so but I, I have no idea what's going to happen um, going forward, um, as as most of us don't. But. I think um, the way he jumped in on Clint about the Gina situation, that was very alarming. I'll tell you why. Because it gave me the vibes that he's secretly watching Gina too much. All right. For him to jump in that quickly, like, it was like, as you know, as soon as Clint um, sat down with them and they were talking, it was like the first thing that Clint said, the response was, well, I think Gina's fine. And then he even said in his confessional, yeah, like, Clint couldn't pull a girl like that in real life. Like, he couldn't. 
So that to me is like, Ra, you're you're kind of hating on him and you're kind of watching his girl too hard. And is that because you're not really feeling um, the relationship that you have with Dominique? Um, Because, you know, it it may be a culture shock to him or whatever. And she's also, like you said, Trey, she's still 25. So, but um, yeah, it's, it's looking a bit iffy for them, in my opinion. Good vibes so far, but I'm not sure how far that's going to take them. Trey, are you good? Trey looks frozen. Trey might be in the matrix over there. Yeah, I'm. You you crackling, bro? You want to try to come out and come back in? Yeah. All right, we got you. So, right. what do y'all? I know um, at a certain point, Gina was not, uh, yeah, I'm sorry, Dom was talking about their chemistry or lack thereof and some of the things they're doing. Do you think that she's interested or attracted in him like that? Or do you think he's interested or attracted to her like that? Like, what do you think? I know they had that pool scene, but um, we haven't really seen much uh, at all with them from a physical aspect. So anybody's thoughts on that? Can you be attracted and not attracted to the same person at the same time? Because that's just how this couple's coming off. Like, I hate that. I mean, Mac has nervous energy, but, you know, he likes being around her, likes what he sees. And I, he acknowledges he's an introvert. He's trying to break out his shell, break out of his so-called shell. And I guess the I hear the complaining part where it's like, you know what? He's only doing things because... She want, uh, he wants to be a different person or to appease her, which I think is the main thing. And the way it's coming off is not that it's not that way. Whereas I think Dom is looking for someone that displays a lot more masculine energy, and like you get a lot of feminine energy coming from back. Like I don't know who's leading, and even with that last conversation, it just seems like Dominique is leading the whole leading um leading the whole relationship or whole conversations when it comes when it comes to what's going wrong, which. Again, the dynamic just doesn't seem, it just doesn't seem uh, genuine or unique in my, in my opinion. But I don't know. I mean, there's things they like about each other, but at the same time, I'm not sure if they're like romantically or they have like sexual, uh, a romantic interest on continually, if that makes any sense, if that makes any sense. They'll be great friends, but like I don't see like, hey, this guy really is feeling for, uh, feeling for this person. We made his comment about how he's checking, uh, how he, um, how um, Mac was checking for Gina. Like he said all those compliment things about um, about that girl, uh, about that girl, and I haven't heard him say anything about Dominique. And it's not. And the thing is, it's like it'll be one thing if he was into black women or want to be in black women. It's just like, I'm not getting that type of it. I'm not getting that type of energy. Like, Hey, you know what? Like this is exotic fruit. I'm trying to, trying to see what's trying to see, I'm trying to see, I'm trying to hit, see what, what it's about. It's just like, let's just see where it's like, I'm blessed to see where this goes. I'm not going to do anything stupid type of energy. It's, it's that nervous. It's, it's almost nervous as energy, but at the same time, it's like, it's not as cup, you know, he wants Starbucks. You're giving him Tim Hortons. Like, you know, he's going to go back to Starbucks. Okay. Anybody else? Or, or is there chemistry between Dom and Mac? Go ahead, JR. Yeah, I, I, I think I would rate the chemistry as average. Why? Because they haven't been throwing shade on each other like some of the other couples have, and they haven't expressed a specific dislike to anything specific right so um i don't see them like you know heart eye emojis um for each other or googling over each other you know like uh googly eyed and all that i don't see that at all but i just see two people who are still open to trying to find a connection that's as far as i see that Dom's energy is I'm willing to try, and what's his name? Max energy is I'm attracted to my wife. I'm attracted to the 
Um, never mind. Gina. Um, what's her name? Gina. I was going to say something else, but yeah, he's attracted. He wants to have sex with his wife. She is. I'm willing to try, but this ain't going to work, Mama. Why'd you sign me up for this thing? Their personalities don't mesh. That, that's that's the big issue here. Their personalities, I think they find each other attractive, but their personalities just don't. Male and female connection is not possible here. It's just not. So. So this came up, and I don't know if Seaway is still out there, but she used to, uh, this. We I forget what we were talking about when it comes to attraction, but uh, one of the comments somebody said that because of his talking, yeah, this Sandria said it right. If he talked less, she would like him more. So you know, is that true that men can talk themselves out of a situation and attraction oh, with a woman? Of course. But how many, how many non-suave white people understand that? That's the key thing. Like, Boy Mackins and Waters, he doesn't know what he's doing. And like, I don't know how to classify this situa uh, situation. This is a black girl who doesn't act like a black girl. But it's a black girl. Like, I don't know what to do in this situation. Or how to help him. Especially if he doesn't like black girls. Like, I, I, I don't know how to do it. He's confused. She's confused. <laughs> They're both confused with each other. They don't know what to say. And we all know men, you know, we we will talk ourselves out of a situation, especially if we're nervous or not sure what to say. We just start bad and saying the wrong things. Yeah. He just, yeah, he has no other recourse. He's just He's just talking. He's just talking. He don't know what to do. And she just sometimes I look at his face and I, I see her face. Should I respond to this like a black man or should I respond to this like a white man? I, I see it sometimes. There's times when she wanna get super spicy. You see it. She ready to pop off. Like it almost happened with the Clint statement. She was like, ugh. She was ready to go. But then the white girl come out. Oh my God, I was so offended. Like, well, no, what was going on? Like, you she's confused. She don't, she's still learning herself. She trying to figure out who she is. So it, it prefaces the way she responds to him. Like, like she got a little spicy with him when she told him he wasn't he really wasn't that funny. Your jokes ain't your jokes ain't joking, bro. Your jokes ain't joking. That's, that's that's how she was looking like now nah, you saw his face he was like oh oh and then tried to give that half behind apology for it. it an apology that i felt like he didn't understand why he was giving the apology he he was trying to figure out the words to say and he you tell, he was stumbling on the words like you know i i know sometimes i i joke and i uh, um i I may come off like I don't understand, but you know, I, I, I it's because I'm nervous. I'm, you know, and then she immediately interrupted his apology to get what she had to say off. No, I said this, you know, because you was doing this, 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 and he was like, uh, uh, that's that black side that was coming out. You like, ah, rage in the machines. She was ready to go, and then she pulled it back. But it's okay, mm. like you know. <laughs> confusement I, so as a black man i'm looking at this white man i can see like oh i see where you, you might be a little unsure of yourself you don't know what to say to this woman because god's honest truth this woman doesn't know what she wants to be said to her because she doesn't know herself like you know and, and that's a whole nother issue for her that's i guess that's the reason why we keep saying she's just so young She's a she's you know she's mixed race woman. She's very young. She's still discovering herself. Like she's like she she rather be 
out there in on Girls Going Wild 52, you know, whatever, Jamaican edition. You know, that, that's what that's the vibe she gives when I see her at times. She's a party. Hey, We're gonna have to mute you because you just okay. going off the rail. Yeah, I'll mute myself. <laughs> You came back with that strong Wi-Fi and you are just shooting shots everywhere. <laughs> Not girls going wild. <laughs> 52. <laughs> oh gosh. Can we all just get along, Trey? Can we just get along? <laughs> it's all love. All right, we Kojo, you. you came back to make sure your channel wasn't falling to shambles here. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, so I trust you guys. <laughs> I trust you guys are, are safe. You know what I mean? I trust you guys are safe. But um, yeah, I don't have much. I don't have much to say about um, Dom and McKinley apart from the fact that I think, yeah, I think she she interrupted the apology, and I thought to myself, Ooh. I said she's got that. She got she got a good amount of assertive energy. Which may just overrun this poor boy, you know what I mean? Um, you know, nothing wrong with that. If you wanna, if you wanna, uh, you know, if if that's that's you, but in this particular relationship with him, she gonna run him into the ground, right? And he gonna get run hard because like he really was apologizing and he was giving a good apology. And our man was telling her what he's sorry for. Da, da, da. She's like, I just don't do it. I just don't do excuses. Oh, if that's what we don't do, then I need you. I need you to back the freak off me. Cause like, yo, why is my apologize and I'm telling you what I'm sorry for? You don't get to tell me. I just don't do apologize. Apologies. Next thing, next thing you're gonna say to me next time is just do better. It's like, no, no, no. <laughs> I'm not your kid, okay? That's not how you, you're not gonna parent me. I'm trying to show you that I'm sorry for what I've done and show that I, I'm changing my behavior. And I was like, oh, okay, that's that's interesting. That little energy there, very interesting. Um, you know, so. Yeah, I think um, he maybe moans a bit too much. I can understand that. Um, and she made a fair point. You know, if he's moaning all the time and it makes her not want to do the activity. So I agree with that nobody wants to be in a space where someone's got negative energy. So, yeah, that one, absolutely. Not a problem at all. Um, and uh, I, I agree with her on that one. You know, you have to you have to chill on the negative energy. But, oh, girl, when I saw that energy coming from her lips... I said, yeah, she going to run that boy into the ground. Mm -mm. Yeah, I'm with you on that, Coach. You know, I think it's you, you have to balance it out, right? Because we did note that um, Mac did try things, right? He was more willing to, you know, do some of the excursions and things that she wanted to do. But he's one of those people, he's going to complain first and then do it later. You know, and I used to be like that until one of my friends told me, Sean, you just you just complain too much, bro. Jesus. And, you know, I had to take a step look. I had to take a step back and look at myself. And I'm like, wow, because, you know, when sometimes you hear yourself and then somebody tell, and I'm like, oh, yeah, I'm complaining a lot. And I try to be you know, I would try to be more conscious of it, but I still would do it. You know, I was one of those people like I'm just going to complain my way through it. And then I had to learn like that complaining stuff. It's like, first of all, nobody, it's like you, you kind of bring down the room. So you just kind of have to check yourself, right? Especially if you're going to go ahead and do it anyway. If you're going to do it anyway, then why are you complaining? Just, you know, shut up and get it done. So that I can get her on that. What I would say is that, and I think, again, I hate that we have to harp on her age so much, but I think it does play a role, is she's not really... Like a guy like Mac, especially a guy like him, needs a little bit more reassurance. And I don't see her giving any compliments where, you know, we see Jasmine is overly complimentary, very nice, very accommodating, where Dom is kind of cut and dry. And then she's like, yeah, I'm about to go talk to my mama. We're going to FaceTime for a while. That sounds like a two hour conversation on my honeymoon. So, yeah, I think Dom could, you know, bend and flex a little bit you know, while sharing how she feels about him, but giving him some compliments, right, too, and telling him what she appreciates about him. So those are my thoughts. Last couple. 
Yes, yes, Chris and Nicole. Why well, I always feel like she about to bitch press something? I'd be, I'd be scared for myself. I don't know. <laughs> Y'all was thinking it. Don't even try it. <laughs> Don't even try it. Y'all was thinking it. <laughs> She's about to hey, behave. Out. Behave. Come make it, but am I uh, complex with him? Trey, you're in the Matrix again. <laughs> <laughs> 